Understanding Cannabis Irradiation, Gamma, Beta and Beyond Cannabis, like any agricultural product, is susceptible to contamination. To combat this, some producers turn to irradiation, a process that uses high-energy waves to kill or sterilize these contaminants. Gamma irradiation, often utilizing cobalt-60, is a powerful method that penetrates deep into the plant matter. This process effectively neutralizes a broad spectrum of microbes. Beta irradiation, typically employing electron beams, offers a less penetrating alternative to gamma rays. Non-irradiated cannabis represents a commitment to natural preservation methods. Choosing non-irradiated cannabis ensures that the plant retains its natural integrity, offering consumers a product free from the uncertainties of radiation exposure. Understanding these differences empowers consumers to make informed choices. While irradiation combats microbial growth, concerns linger about its long-term effects on cannabis. The high energy waves used in both gamma and beta irradiation can alter the plant's delicate chemical structure. This alteration can degrade valuable cannabinoids like THC and CBD, diminishing the potency and therapeutic potential of the final product. Beyond impacting potency, irradiation can also generate potentially harmful byproducts. Radiolytic compounds formed when radiation interacts with organic matter raise concerns about their potential toxicity. Research in this area remains limited, leaving consumers and experts with unanswered questions. The lack of comprehensive research on the long-term effects of irradiated cannabis is a significant concern. This uncertainty underscores the need for greater transparency and rigorous scientific investigation. The quest for a sterile and visually appealing cannabis product often leads producers to choose between two controversial methods, irradiation and plant growth regulators, or PPGRs. PGRs are synthetic chemicals designed to manipulate a plant's growth patterns. While they can produce larger, denser buds, these often come at the expense of flavor, aroma, and potency. Irradiation, as previously discussed, presents its own set of concerns regarding the degradation of cannabinoids and the creation of potentially harmful byproducts. Choosing between PGRs and irradiation is a lose-lose situation for consumers seeking natural, high-quality cannabis. This dilemma highlights the urgent need for greater transparency and stricter regulations within the industry. Cultivating cannabis in optimal conditions provides a natural and effective way to minimize contamination risks while preserving the plant's integrity and potency. Humidity control is paramount in preventing mold growth. Maintaining the optimal humidity levels throughout the plant's life cycle creates an environment where mold struggles to thrive. Adequate airflow is equally crucial. Proper ventilation ensures that fresh air constantly circulates around the plants, preventing the buildup of moisture that can harbor mold and bacteria. Light management also plays a vital role. Providing the appropriate spectrum and intensity of light optimizes photosynthesis and strengthens its natural defenses. By prioritizing optimal growing conditions, cultivators can produce high quality clean cannabis without resorting to potentially harmful methods. While the legal market grapples with the complexities of irradiation and other controversial practices, a different world exists within the shadows, the black market of organic, non-irradiated cannabis. This clandestine market, often operating outside of regulations and oversight, offers a glimpse into the potential for truly natural and superior cannabis cultivation. Black market growers, driven by passion and a deep understanding of the plant, often prioritize traditional organic methods. They cultivate their crops in natural settings using compost teas and other organic nutrients to nourish the soil and strengthen the plant's immune systems. Free from the pressures of mass production and regulatory scrutiny, these growers can dedicate themselves to the art of slow curing their harvest. While the black market operates outside the law and comes with inherent risks, it highlights the potential for exceptional cannabis cultivation through natural, sustainable practices. The debate surrounding irradiated cannabis underscores a crucial need for greater transparency within the industry. Consumers deserve to know how their cannabis is grown, 
treated and processed to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Clear labelling should be mandatory for all cannabis products, clearly indicating whether irradiation or PGRs were used during cultivation. This simple step would empower consumers to align their purchases with their values and preferences. Furthermore, increased research into the long-term effects of irradiated cannabis is crucial. Ultimately, the choice between irradiated, PGR-treated or naturally grown cannabis should rest with the consumer.